What's up, team? As you can see, I am stuck in my car. Uh, it's raining like crazy here in South Florida. Anywho, I have a couple minutes, so I decided to speak to you for a little bit. And, you know, I always like to come on here and leave a couple words and try to inspire whenever I can. Um, so I wanted to talk about uh, the place that you are right now, right? And a lot of us, we evaluate our current situation and and we use that as a catalyst. And some of us, we evaluate our current situation and we look at that as being the norm. There's a difference, right? There's a difference in mindset, there's a difference in perception, and there's a difference. There's two, two types of people in the world. There's a the pessimist and the optimist, right? Which kind of person are you? You know, how do you see the world? And you have to realize that your current situation never will determine your future situation. And the only way your future situation uh, gets turned upside down is by you and your will, your willpower, what you're willing to invest, what you're willing to sacrifice, who you're willing to grow, who you're willing to build, and how you're willing to develop your own self. You know, self-development is one of the things that we often overlook. We often overlook self-development because people say, hey, you have to think about other people. You got to do things for other people. You got to share with other people. And all the time what we're doing is we're neglecting ourselves. You know, in order to help somebody, you have to be able to be in a position to help. You know, you have to be able to put yourself in a situation where you're in a positive mindset where you can assist someone. You know, it's hard to help someone if you are someone that needs to be helped. And our situation is always provide us strength. Our situations always provide us experience. It always gives us a way out, right? And unless we are going through these daily struggles and we're going through the hustle and bustle that life gives us, you know, it's hard to go ahead and get that experience to be able to help and mold and build someone else. So what I say about your current situation is you're going to go through some struggles. You know, no doubt about it. You're going to go through some difficult times and this too shall pass. You know, you're going to go through some situations where you don't see a way out. You're going to go through some situations where the medical report is telling you one thing. And your family is telling you another thing. And, and the Lord is telling you something else. You know, this too shall pass. You know, we've all gone through some situations where we just don't see a future. We don't see a way out. We see uh, the norm. We see every day being the same, you know. Like nobody, nobody is going to look out for you like you would look out for yourself. Nobody's going to write that book for you. Nobody's going to open that business for you. You know, you have to be able to develop yourself and put yourself in a situation where you have willpower to struggle. You have the willpower to fight through those roadblocks. You have the power to be able to kick down those doors that are once locked. Guys, it's very hard to, to, to see the future and it's very hard to predict what the future holds. But small victories is what counts, you know. If you set yourself in a, in a situation where you're having these small victories and you're changing these small behaviors and, and you're developing new patterns that can develop your well-being and, and develop other people around you, you're setting yourself up for a future of success. Now, if you are a pessimist that thinks about <laughs> your current situation and you just can't find a way out and, and you just can't see a way out, you may need somebody to, to motivate you or to uplift you. And there's no nothing wrong with seeking out help you know as iron sharpens iron we as men and, and women we we sharpen each other so there's nothing wrong and I always preach that every single day of the week that there's nothing wrong with looking for someone for guidance and looking for someone who has experienced failure who has experienced struggle who has experienced difficult times you know who has had an addiction and saw a way out who has gone through a divorce and saw a way out who has been cheated on <laughs> Who has been through financial struggles who have been through financial failures and saw a way out you know there's so many of us that can help each other and 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 mold and develop each other but it starts with you it starts with self-development and it starts with being able to hold yourself accountable self-accountability is is your number one tool guys i know this is long-winded but i think it's some good information in there <laughs> anyways stay blessed